friends. <laughs> I feel like you're too high. You high this morning? <laughs> I feel like you are. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Let's see here. Oh, you see? That's a little bit better. Oh, I'm really making my tripod wonky though. But good morning. Good morning, friends. Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome to Tammy Loves Vintage. Uh, my name is Tammy Neff, and um, yeah, Tammy Loves Vintage is my page. And uh, it's kind of a place to be right now because, um, as you know, today's Halloween, so happy Halloween, everybody. Um, I hope you post lots of costumes and stuff for me to see what you're, what you're all dressed up as. That's always fun to see. Um, and what you're, you know, what you're doing. Did you carve pumpkins? What are you doing? Are you baking some pie? Hi, Ben. Oh my gosh, Ben the Star's right out of the back. Good morning. God love your heart. Thank you so much. So, I got into my Christmas stuff and I pulled it all out. I have like this little room where our furnace and stuff is and we keep like our screens and lawn chairs and stuff like that in the basement and you got to kind of work your way around the furnace to get back in and then I have a nice space and so I have I allowed myself five Christmas tubs big the big tubs and then I have a little skinny tub on top <laughs> for linens and anyway I had fun going through it all and I found so many things that I've made I'm still just kind of digging through the boxes so I haven't unpacked everything but I thought there are so many treasures and I have new people that follow as well as like if you're like me I don't even remember what I have until I unpack it all so it's fun to see it again and of course I'll show you um, I don't know if I'll do it as I decorate, but I'll show you, you know, what I've decorated. Um, I might do something with you, like our mantle or something like that. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that so much. I was so, like, wow, we're out of the gate. I got stars. <laughs> um, so thank you for the uh, Halloween treat. I appreciate that. So, um, uh, yeah, speaking of Halloween treats, I did. <laughs> My neighbor, I don't know them very well, but they had their kids come up and bring us a tray of pumpkin cookies and they were absolutely like so good that I all I worried about was how am I going to repay because you know when you give your thing back you're supposed to have <laughs> I thought I can't make cookies that good I don't know how she did it they were super soft they were iced they were delicious so yesterday um, I had a baby shower to go to up in um uh, Columbus about an hour away and they have a target up there so I hit a target and I just bought a ton of candy and the the grass you know this grass shredded paper and so, not Easter grass but shredded paper and I put it in this pan that she had her cookies in and I took it down yesterday for them so I did I wasn't even going to try and compete with her cookies so anyway let's get started I want to show you I don't know why I said all that oh uh, anyway let's get started um I think just thinking about Halloween uh so first off I'm just going to show you so if you have if you're out antique shopping and you find really cool spools, like I have these three spools that were really, I really like them. Um, this one, this one's just kind of basic, but I, I really liked its chunky, chubby, <laughs> chubby, chunkiness. It was relatable, right? <laughs> chunky and chubby and short. Uh, and so anyway, I wrapped them just with new ribbon and string. And I just work them in my decor. And I'll show you guys all of this stuff all styled and done. But I just, right now, I'm just going to show you some ideas. So be watching for your spools, old spools that float your boat. They might be ugly until you wrap them. But if they have a great shape or like the writing or the coloring on them, um, that's kind of what I look for. And I just thought this little set, 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 sets nicely together. So I did those. That was an easy, I don't think I did it on a video. I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Um, and then another one, I'm definitely going to be making more of these this year because remember the tins that I found? Um, so we're going to be doing all those tart pan tins. But this, I know I have like 10 more of these, but this was the only one I could find in my batch, in my stuff quickly. But it's just a zinc lid. It does have, um, it does have like, paper on the back of it. So I can't tell you if it was the porcelain back here or not. I don't think so. But they do have with porcelain back there. You might not want to cover it. But I used the glitter paper. And we just made a cute little scene in these lids. Julie and I were 
hanging around together. I don't know. We've done them for a few Christmases. And um, she made the first one. And then, of course, I jumped on the bandwagon and started making them. I know many of you have purchased them from me. But, um, you know, I did keep a few. So there you go. So be watching for your... Um, your zinc lids and or little tart pans or anything small that you could turn into an ornament for a vintage Christmas tree. Oh, thank you, Kathy. And you might be able, oh, that's so nice. You, you guys are being so nice this morning. Hi, Clara. I'm sorry, I'm not reading all your comments because I got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff laying here on this table. Good morning, Clara. Nice to see you. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Denny. Uh, hi, Connie. Good morning, friend. Hi, Robin. Hi, you guys. There's Twelve Oaks Gardens. Hello, Kathy Tatum. Uh, let's see here. Joanne. Hi, Joanne and Penny and Janet. Oh, my goodness. And Sharon. I got so many. There's Kathy. So, anyway, let's keep on rolling because I could be here all day just like the romper room. I don't have my romper room near here, so we can't do this right now. Um, so then another silly little thing. Let's see, these things have been packed. I took old sweaters. Old sweaters. Let's see. I only use these two different... Um, uh, so go to go to Goodwill, go to your closet, whatever you got to do. But I wrapped, I took white styrofoam balls and I just wrapped old sweaters and hot glued them. Like the seam where I hot glued them is not pretty, but of course that's what you, there's the ugly side and there's the pretty side. So of course you're going to have to lay them down and have one side that you're not going to see. Or if you're making a project, you know, you would attach that, the ugly part, of course. But um, anyway, I made uh, just a few just to put in my decor. So we'll see what I'm going to do with this stuff this year. I always, everything's always a little different. So um, unless it's an ornament that hangs, and sometimes I don't even do that. Um, but here, here's like an oil can. I have a whole box full of handmade vintage, uh, not hand, like this wasn't handmade. I just tweaked it out. But I just want to show you like an idea. If you love oil cans, you can do an ornament like this. Um, you can get paper mache ornaments and just do simple little, you know, little thing like this. Um, I added an old button. This is just a paper mache tag, um, and it'll hang on the tree. I made a whole bunch of stuff like that. They're all different. They are different sizes, different shapes. Um, all of these things were done in individual videos, and most of them, the easiest way, like if you're like, oh, I really want to make that angel, or I really, really want to make those houses or those trees, um, I'd love to see how she did it. You can scroll back through all of the videos through the video link in Facebook and kind of look for um, November, December, November, December stuff. But what's so much easier is just to go to uh, YouTube and like type in um, sizal, sizal, just type in sizal. And you want to see these trees. Oh, I might have made these in my group. I might, I might have told you wrong. You might not find these there, but these are handmade. I made all of these little trees and I will do it with you. I promise. This is one thing that's on my list to do with you guys this year. So you can check uh, for the size of trees. This one got bent a little bit. Um, they're a little bit tricky, but super fun. And I just want you to see like the, um, the different holders that I hear was a little stubby one. You, you just want to keep them all. They display super nicely together. Let me see if I can set them in my hand. But here, speaking of oil cans, on well, this one got bent a little bit. But I even stuck one in the top of a little sewing machine oil can. And then this one eh, got a little, I mean, it's been stuffed in a box for a year. You wouldn't look very good if you were stuffed in a box for a year either. <laughs> so I once did this for Easter. I think I did it this year for Easter. And, um, <laughs> I had, I had like some of the things were coming apart and I just literally opened my box and, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Who is that? Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Uh, and anyway, I literally had stuff just taking it right out of the box and she said, it looks like everything you made is falling apart. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> I just, it's, it's easy to, if you made it, you can certainly tack a bow back on or whatever. Whoops, I dropped my tree. But anyway, this gives you an idea. And you can see I had them all lined in my windowsill. And it made like a little wintry forest. So I loved doing the sizal trees. Those were great. Whoops. And so you might have seen, I just dropped this one and it came out. So see, lady that said that to me. <laughs> you just re... Oh yeah, there, my glue came out. Oh. I just dropped my oil can. So I'll just re-stick that back in there and re-glue it down. It's not that hard, right? It's not that big a deal. So I'll put that aside to know it needs fixed. Okay, here's another thing that I did. And, and um, I used an old um, 
stirrup that was wood and metal mix and I made this little scene. This is an old, this is an old vintage tree. And then I just added some greenery and some snowflakes and it just sits, you know, for my Christmas decor. And then uh, you love the bottom brush trees. Uh, you put everything in them. Yes, Penny. Well, I do too. So I was excited to be able to make my own. And that's what those sisal trees are all about is making your own sort of a brush tree look, but it's really more vintagey. Um, it's hard to find the vintage ones, but anyway, so uh, this was a cute, I thought this was a super cute idea. And it's one that you can leave out clear till spring because it doesn't scream Christmas. What you could do is lay a couple red bells or a red ball or whatever your color is. Um, you could tie a ribbon here in your color um, or even up here and you could add some Christmas cheer to it and then take it off and leave it out until spring for your winter decor. I always do a, a winter decor as well. Um, another fun, fun, because yeah, the Christmas is I kind of have so much, it's all kind of packed in. So it's nice to pull out all of that and just enjoy the winter, you know, things that might get pushed behind a little bit. Another super fun video that I did um, that went crazy, you guys all loved it, was I made my own popcorn garlands. And this is made with um, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it is, definitely. It is made from, um, are those made from the rope? No, I bought sisal in a bag. Uh, no, this is all my stuff, Shayla. I'm just unpacking it. Um, a little bit. I've got to go to a paint job today. I got another, I got a real estate um, possible ha huge. If I get it, I'll show you guys. It's going to be, it's going to be stinking phenomenal. It's over a million dollars, I think. It's a big one. It's like, holy cow. I'm kind of, that's why I'm kind of nervous today. <laughs> Procrastinating going out. <laughs> that's a big one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I made this with spray foam. And um, then you, you press it down, you paint it, and it's like a gold metallic and then a regular gold, and then you string it after it dries. So I loved making the popcorn, so go to YouTube, type in um, Tammy Loves Vintage, and then I'll have my own search bar there. And you can type in, oh, thank you, Mary. You can type in, um, oh, with a toilet bowl brush, that's cool. I, yeah, I haven't seen that, I haven't seen that, Brenda. Um, I hope the brush was clean. <laughs> Anyway, you can make your own popcorn that lasts forever, and I absolutely loved that one. That was a super fun video. Um, I sold these kits for a while. You guys have bought me all out, but I did keep one of each of the reindeer kits. I got this idea from um, Donna uh, Dotson, Do Dotson Designs. Um, Do does her own cutting and everything, and she made some deer, and so I had to try and make some. So I had a friend that could cut them out for me. I did the front and the back, and I've had these for several years, but I don't have any deer left. I guess I could ask him if he would want to cut us any more. I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to mess with them. Probably most of you have already got them. Um, you love my dresser. Yes, thank you, Mary. It, uh, I did this one several years as well. If you, several years ago, and for some reason, the vid, I think the video was just too long. It was so many parts. It's an image transfer. Let me my chair. It's an image transfer that um, you paint your cabinet and then you, I had, I ordered the Madonna and Child off of Etsy and I had it blown up to the specific size of my drawer openings and then I had it reversed because there's a little bit of writing on it. So I had it reversed and then I used um, a, a transfer medium adhesive, but you can also use, um, uh, Mod Podge and you put it face down and you let it dry and so you have you know all these steps and things and then you use a spray bottle and just your finger and you just rub it off you rub the paper off and the image transfers to it sticks to the sticky the dry the sticky and it um, you get this so I know that I have a couple videos over on um, hi Chris Hunter I have a cup oh Chris you know what I was gonna I'm gonna tell you something in a minute so I was, uh, so if you go to uh, YouTube at Tammy Loves Vintage and type in image transfer, you can find where I did a couple Christmas ones and um, um, that's exactly how you would do it on furniture. Just remember to reverse the, the image at the print shop uh, or on your own printer if it's just a small project, if there's any writing, because it'll come out completely backwards. So, okay, looks like Randy's home for lunch. Hi, Randy. 
is coming back. He's already been in once this morning. So, okay, next up, I made some tree toppers, and I used these carolers hats um, that you could find on Amazon. Now, I don't know if they're back on there or not, but I've been watching for months, and I've not seen them. So, um, I did do a tutorial, though, because last year, because they were hard to find, and I gave you the template and everything how to make the carolers hat like how to cut it out, you know, what sizes and all of what the measurements were. And so you could make your own uh, template for the carolers hats. And I use this for the top. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's go back to Chris. I have to, if you're still here, I have to tell you, I just saw some sneak peek pictures of your event this um, last weekend. And you were just beautiful. That silver sparkling outfit was, it looked so good on you. It just was so beautiful. And, um, very flattering and all of that good stuff. It was beautiful and I wanted to tell you but I thought, oh, is that creeper of me to go on and tell her? <laughs> so, since you're here, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I wanted, I, I even pulled you up to message you and I thought, oh, that's kind of creeperish. I don't think I'm, I think I'll just, you know, let it go. But you really looked beautiful and I caught one little picture of you in your, um, oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, uh, but I caught one in your Roger Rabbit, um, Jessica Rabbit outfit. And oh my gosh, how cool was that? It was beautiful. So I've been, I keep thinking, what could I be? What could, like if I could have been able to come, what could I be? And I did come up with a cute idea and I didn't see anybody be it. So maybe, maybe you could do it again, maybe next year. So anyway, but back to the Carolers hats, you guys. You can make them all different sizes. Um, this one I added a clock face. I've made tons of these. I've sold you guys a ton of these done, but I just want to inspire you. Um, just old buttons, some old paper, and cover your hats. And uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Oh, these were really cool too. So I'll do that later. These trees were all pipe cleaner trees. Now I haven't bent them out. These have been packed, so give me grace on that. But again, more spools, good spools. Um, I really love the shape of this one. Um, and then I just did a chunk of wood for this one. I haven't, I should have taken the time, but I did not. And I made big ones as well. And then I did lamp finials on top of the big ones. And it looks like I didn't even put anything on the little ones tops, but these are just with, um, uh, pipe cleaners and then I tea stained them to look vintage-ish. So I got that. Um, that's a fun project to do. Again, look up pipe cleaners. <laughs> um, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, Chris, that would be so great. So then, okay, lamp parts. Oh, I have a big wreath down. So I'll show you all my stuff, I promise. This, you know, we got a long time between now and Christmas. I'm kind of spoiling it maybe but I thought you know for, with my stuff you can't just run and buy it at Hobby Lobby you kind of have to find it at Goodwill vintage markets auctions antique shows and stuff like that and you're going to be seeing some of that coming up so um just want you to you know have an idea so this is the lamp part this is a lamp part that is it hooks to the ceiling and your chandelier hangs down from here right and an old lamp so if you find antique um lamp parts okay uh, this one was actually this is the patina that it was and I left it I added a wooden spindle to the top and I decorated it and it just sits oh, what is this oh yeah that's supposed to be there it's a star is that supposed to be in there I, oh it probably was leaning on something what is that it's just hanging I saw red on it or should it be red on it it probably leaned to get something red but there it's just a star <laughs> but I've got red on this side I'll have to paint that I'll have to bake that out. But anyway, it just sits on your table and it looks like a bell. It looks like a Christmas bell, I thought. I don't know. And I have a big wreath where I made them and they look like bells and I actually rigged up a dinger and did a little dinger thing. I'll have to show you what I did with that. Those were fun. Um, another fun one that I did, and I did this one twice. So you should be, I mean, one of them might have been in my group, but I know one of them should be on uh, in here because I remember doing it with you guys all. Um, with you guys all with all you guys, is these angels. And they just sit on your table, and I was inspired, whoops, I was inspired by these, uh, by um, I'm, 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 oh, Tracy's fancy, Tracy. Um, she did these, the, her daughter saw them on, oh my God, a feather coming off. Uh, she saw these on um, Instagram, I think, and she sent her mom a picture and said, 
can you figure out how to make this? And so Tracy broke it all down, figured it out, and shared it with all of us on her page, Tracy's Fancy. And so I made an angel. I absolutely love her hairdo. Super cute. And her little arms. Look at her little arms. And she can hang on your tree or just sit in your decor. So then I made that one, and then I felt like such an angel pro that I jacked up another one, and I really took her all the way. So I really, really, really did her. You can see her her hair back here, and that's all with embroidery thread. And I love these. Uh, so I made these from Tracy. And then, let's see, let's, uh, probably our favorite thing, which is in line with the, the lid that I showed you earlier, is our tins. And it's very hard to find tins. And I know that a lot of you were making tins, but you saw how expensive they are, why they can be expensive. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, guys. Uh, hi, Penny. Um, but the tins are antique uh, tins. I mean, they're old tins. And then we decorate them out. We kind of blow them out with beautiful decor and we try to use as much vintage Christmas as we can find. This one I added a pin to. Um, but yeah, these are these these were the ones that I kept. I've sold you guys again. I've sold you guys a bunch of these. So um, a lot of you already have some of my creations. But this was another tin. So you kind of get your tin first. You collect all of your stuff. You know, and then um, and we all have little pieces of greenery and stuff. And then I just had brush trees and your tin inspires you to how you want to, where you, where you want to take it, what colors you're going to use, how big you want it to be would be where you're going to put it. But I love this one that was an old ground mustard tin. Um, and you can find, I mean, I saw a beautiful tin go across my page yesterday. It was $45. I really wanted it, but I'm, I don't want a $45 tin that I'm going to hot glue to. So you really, it's really hard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so then I did an old tobacco. I think this was tobacco. Yeah, tobacco. This is an old tobacco tin. And I thought, I mean, look how skinny it is. And Julie's like, my friend Julie, we do these together. She's like, I think that's too thin. I don't think you can do much with it. Well, we were both surprised. Whoops, I'm showing you the wrong side. How much we got on here. And I found this old iron deer, but it's antler. It only had one antler. But my idea was, I, I don't care. I'm going to shove it in the tree. And you can't really tell that he only has one antler. But I absolutely love how this turned out. So when you see these, let's see how much did I pay for this? $15.51 I paid for the tin on this one. Um, I, I always leave my price. I try to leave my prices. But anyway, I love that one. I don't have anything burgundy in my house, but at Christmas time you can pull some color in and it's all fine. Um, this one was an old, uh, oh, it's cloves. I thought it was cloves. This one was an old, the wood, you know how you could buy the wood sets and sometimes the sets get broken up. So this was on a cloves. You can see the word cloves there. And I added this deer. He's a vintage um, find as well. And I've got, you know, our famous seam binding that I love to share with you guys. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a, another spool that I had. I had just wrapped one with white to set with all of my other spools um, like that. So yeah, I did. I added a white, just white seam binding. That sitting over there, um, and then for the end of the tent. Oh no, there's another one there. This was an old box. It was a it was a box, but I and it's lidded and the lid comes off. But I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna set it on its side and I'm gonna treat it like a tin, and I can leave this one out even you know after Christmas for winter decor. I kind of forgot to keep talking about the winter decor, but I found this set of glass or ceramic deers deer <laughs> deers. <laughs> and I put those on this box so I love that and then I have one more here that I can oh I have two I have two more to show you okay so this one the tin was super ugly I don't think it was very I don't have a price on this one I don't think it was very much it was just an ugly silver nothing but I wrapped it with scrap of paper and then I decorated it all up like this so if you um, you know you want to see me make some you could go over to Tammy loves vintage on YouTube and type in tin and see what comes up Christmas Christmas tin probably um, I don't know 
decorating a tin, whatever I would say when I'm telling you guys about it, that's what it is. And then here's the last one is um, ground sage, Jerky's ground sage. It was a beautiful tin. Sometimes you pay up for it. You know, I wouldn't get more than 20 for a tin. And that's a lot to turn around and sell you when you're buying all of these things, you know, all of the little things as well. And you don't have to be all vintage. Like I try to, like all of this is vintage, but we have picked up a few little things from um, Hobby Lobby, like in the mini section and um, to make our tins to keep the price down for you guys. You guys probably don't care as much. Um, but the price will reflect whatever we use, of course. So you know, we'll just see where that takes us. Uh, let's see what else do I have here. Oh, and then the paper mache. This was a fun thing I got into, and I learned. I got this inspiration from Devin Donnell on Devin Donnell on Instagram. And I have made Santas for years now that I love these. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Marsha. Yeah, if you want to see how you do it, it's pretty interesting. But so these are also, I'm sure, over on YouTube. You can scroll my feed. You can scroll my videos on Facebook and find them. Um, just go to probably November. Um, I probably don't really start Christmasing until November, December, and you can look through and see if you can find them that way. Or it's just easy to just type in YouTube. You don't have to have a, an account. Type in YouTube and um, see what you type in. Uh, paper mache or type in Santa and you'll find all of these Santas. Here's more. I made them all sizes. Um, here's some bigger ones. I gave it, I mean, like, they're, like you can, let me, like, see, they're all different personalities and they're different from each year. It must be the mood I'm in. I don't know what it is, but these hang on my tree. Um, and like, like he's got, I don't know. They're just completely different. They're just so different. And then there's, oh, here's this one I was messing around. <laughs> I was messing around with this beer trying to do something different. So I did that one with lots of little pieces to it. This one's a cutie. I love him. I love them all. And then here's this one. And it's all, I used seam binding, the old seam binding that I've shown you guys and given you links for that. And then I thought, okay, I've made enough Santas. So I did a couple snowmen, a couple snow people. And I think I've sold all of, this is my last of my snow people. This is all, the only ones I kept. Um, is this little set right here, and I really just kept it so I could remember to show you guys things you can make. But this is all with paper mache, and then I did a few on springs, um, like this. So, like this. So, I have. I must have had these two for sale. Yeah, nine dollars <laughs> with the spring, and you get the Santa with the spring. And, which reminds me, I have, you should look at TammyLovesVintage.com in the Christmas section. I've got a beautiful metal star on top of a spring. I have, I think I have 12 of them. And um, they're nice, so you should check those out. There's also a little metal tree that would sit with it. And actually, I grabbed one of each to take over to the craft room at the little house to see what I can how I can like jazz them up even more than just what they are. And then you've all bought a ton of doorknob trees or made them. I kept this one because I loved all of the crackle and the knob. And then I kept this one just because it's so tiny. See what a tiny doorknob it is compared to the other one. So I kept this one because it was just so little tiny. You could just tell by my fingers. So anyway, those were the only two trees I've kept. And I have enough to make, I think, six or seven more for you guys. So I'll get to that too. It's all laid out over my table. Oh, here's a big one. I made a big one too. So I have my little one and a, and a big one, I guess. So there, they sit together like that. Like that. So, okay. Um, okay, next up, I did these. So when you buy a bag of buttons from me, and you say, I have all these buttons. Of course, you're going to want a bag for a dish. You're going to want a bag to make your, your button garlands because there's, what, two or three different ways I've shown you now to do those. And then you're also probably going to want to make a button tree, which is just on styrofoam. And then I have the, um, the uh, I think this was, I'm going to say this was a lamp finial, but it could have been a curtain rod finial as well. I'm not sure about that. But this is, I love this finial for the top. And you can go to Hobby Lobby and look at their knob section and find really cool tops. 
um, so you can do that, or just any knob. Or these two are just plain curtain finials, and I've always left the trees like this. You can see the little screw from the finial. So I, this, these are just, again, plain white, so I didn't have to paint them, and they sit together. I usually group all three of them together, but these are just button trees. You just hot glue buttons to styrofoam. You're welcome to find my video on that, but um, um, I think this year I'm going to put I'm going to do the seam binding bow, and why didn't I ever think of that? And hang a little bit of lace from it. When I'm looking at them, of course, I've had them for a few years, so when I'm looking at them now, I'm like, what can I do? And to me, why, like, why didn't I see that before? I don't know, but right now, that's really bugging me. Hi, hi Nancy. Hi, Mom. <laughs> that's my mom. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was thinking about tying, you know, like, one of the, like only in a cream color, you know, adding a little texture to it. So I'll be up in those, changing those a little bit. And then one of my favorite things, well, I mean, I love all of this, but I have a couple of trees here and I, and I just covered again, a white foam tree with vintage lace, covered it with vintage lace and then added a little, a little, um, uh, um, wooden finial spindle, whatever you want to call it. And then I did this one as well. And it, it skirts out too. When you set these on the table, the skirt kind of comes out like that. So I love them. And they sit together. This has got a different top. Um, and yeah, and I think, I don't know if it was this project or a different project. And I think I've shown you guys this before, but I stained a big batch of white pom-poms to make them look Vintage, so I can't. The only way I can kind of tell if it's really vintage is if it's a little raggedy here and there. Um, so, hi Teresa. Um, oh, you want me to make you a white button tree? Okay. So, um, anyway, I ha I'll have to get a form and all that, Shayla. So I will do that for you. It'll be pretty sitting with your buttons. <laughs> we could find a really cool um, gold knob, that bowl that you have with the gold. Um, and then we have the white buttons in the bowl and put the button tree beside it, but that would be really cute. Uh -huh. Hey mom, Tammy's telling you hello, Tammy Littell. <laughs> so, okay, um, and that, that's about it. I did, um, I crafted with my kids um, and made these, these were from Target a year or two ago. You got a set of four, I believe. Um, and I think I made this, I think I made this set. And I glitter, I did a little glitter and I had the snow come on the sides and all that stuff. And then I think Abby made these. If I'm not mistaken, it might be the other way around. Abby might have made the cream ones and I might have made these. I might have made these with all the brickwork on it. She wouldn't have been that. I might have made these and she made those. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we made them all together. So I love the gingerbread and I want to do my coffee bar at the little house all gingerbreadish. So these are going to be perfect. So if you, you uh, 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 <laughs> you're gonna find tons of gingerbread. You can find tons of houses and just paint them the right shade of brown that's gingerbreadish. I'm getting all excited. And then um, you know, like you can get the thick thick paint. You can make your own. Um, you can dilute uh, drywall compound and water. My daughter just called. Sorry. Um, you can add a little drywall compound and water uh, and a little touch of caulking so it doesn't chip off easily, make your own, or you can use your own paint and you can add a, a baking soda to it and get it thicker, thicker, thicker. You however thick you want, just keep adding baking soda and make that nice, thick, drippy looking. See the drips? Awesome, I love that. So made these, Summer made some. Um, I didn't bring those out, they have, pink and she did like pink and purple and glitter on this. I'm frowning like I don't like them. I like them, but they don't work for my house. Um, and she left them here, but like how Abby used this or I, whichever, made this gold, used goldish glitter. Um, Summers was like colorful. So just an idea. So that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I just, I was hoping I might inspire you a little bit. <laughs> so I already ought to be done with this lunch, so it's a good time to go. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I inspired you just a bit and um, got you kind of thinking Christmas because, you know, November 1st, it's on. It's all, all bets are off and Christmas is going to be flying out. So be ready and um, you guys have a great day. Uh, hi, Diana. Hello. And Alma, is it Diana? I'm trying to decide where my, I don't know where my glasses are. It's, 
Hi, Melda. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Sue. I can't tell if that's an A or an E on the end. I just can't see. <laughs> I have glasses by where they are. Hi, Jackie. Thank you. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, you guys. Oh, Lynn. Thank you so much. Thanks for the stars. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're inspired. I hope you made a list. If you didn't, go back and rewatch and make a list that you want to find tins, spools, lids, doorknobs, you know, all of the things. Um, and you might want to make a Hobby Lobby list for paper mache, little houses that you can gingerbread up, um, brush trees, uh, you know, all the stuff. So anyway, hopefully I inspired you guys and I appreciate you all taking the time to watch me this morning. Um, yay, Tammy, I'm so glad. And I hope, you know, for me, it was just fun to take a little Christmas walk down memory lane and see all of the things that we've done over the years. And it's a lot. And I know there's more down there. And when I, when I pull it out, I'm going to say, oh, shoot, I wanted to show them this. If I have enough stuff, I'll gather it together and do another one of these and show you what else I have. Otherwise, I may pop on while I'm decorating uh, the house or at least for sure when I'm done and I can show you each little area. Um, that's always fun. I do that too. So if you, if you, oh, thank you, Chris. If you go back to the YouTube thing and go, type in Tammy Loves Vintage and just type in Christmas, you'll probably see me decorating. I, I, there's over 600 videos over there, so there ought to be more than enough to keep you busy for a while and <laughs> get you more inspired, inspired, not expired, inspired. Thanks for watching. I better go while I'm ahead. Uh, oh, Sharon, you'll have to come back. Um, I just have a whole table full of stuff here that I made over the years for Christmas decor. And I was just unpacking it, um, you know, because it's almost November 1 and that's time to start thinking about Christmas decor. As a as a person on here, you kind of go a little bit earlier than normal. I used to always wait till the day after Thanksgiving. Everyone's out Black Friday shopping and I'm home, ho, ho, hoing. Um, first thing that happens with that is I feel like I don't have it out enough for all the work that goes into it. And it's not out long enough to enjoy it. And um, that's kind of probably the big thing for me. And it doesn't give you guys time to find your stuff. So as a person that um, do, does lives and stuff, I want to give you guys time to you know, see everybody else and me and figure out what you want to make and you got a whole month to make it before December. So you'll be in great shape a month and a day. So see, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. Have a great day. Bye.